The devs have come out of hibernation finally and started to tease things, and you know what that means. It means that a new expansion and or pack is on the horizon. Now, today we're only going to be talking about the one thing they've talked about, and I'm sure that another one will drop later this week as of making this video. But let's dive right in. It's Memorialists. It's a Civic. It's interesting. So, Memorialists, what do they do, what can they do, and what, more importantly, what do they generate? Well, first of all, apparently Memorialists are scholars who observe the dead. And, um, yeah, observe the dead, or at least chronicle the dead, let's put it that way. What does it do? It uh, basically takes the monument or heritage site and that line of buildings and replaces it with a new structure called the Sanctuary of Repose. Now, the Sanctuary of Repose, if it replaces the building, and I will cut into this a little bit more later on, seems to be incredibly powerful as long as you can find yourself a nice little tomb world or Relic Worlds to go with it. Let's dive in. All right, so... Sanctuary of Repose. It replaces the Akaton Memorial. You get two jobs. The Death Chronicles, and if you are a Machine Empire or a Hive Mind, those two kind of go together. Uh, a Chronicle Droid. Fair enough. What does it do? Well, it generates Society Research 2.3, which is okay. It's not amazing. Uh, it's it's kind of similar to, say, the Monument. The Monument does a little bit more. Uh, then it generates 6.5 Unity, Per pop that's working there, which is an insanely high amount, the only other pop in the game that generates this much unity is a high priest that you can only get for the Exalted Priesthood uh, building, which is absolute insanity. Uh, Exalted Priesthood obviously is one of the other civics that you can tie in. Uh, on, th on top of that, then you get some governing ethics attraction to your own governing ethics, which is nice. Um, and if you're a robot or a hive mind, then it uh, reduces deviancy by 20%. But here's the kicker. It adds something that is very difficult to get within the game, and that is stability. It adds five stability for, oh, for the first tier of the building, which is rather crazy, to say the least. And there I go again with the say the least. But this is only the first tier of the gaming. It keeps on ramping. Now, why do I hammer so much on this stability factor? Stability can only really be generated through a couple of things, and that has mostly to do with things like um, martial law being enacted, uh, building a deep space black site as well as a couple of other minor things there i believe there is another civic that does it as well but i'll need to dive a little bit more deeper in that for the future but having a building that adds even more stability than you would normally get is a really big deal and why is it a big deal well the monument the building it replaces as of i believe the latest update 2.7 you can build as many of them as you want on a planet that means that you could have the perfectly stable, unity-generating world just out there. This is the unity... This is the mother load in terms of unity. 6.5 is an insane amount. Now, obviously, there's some costs behind that. Every Death Chronicler, um, they consume food. It's two per Chronicler. And consumer goods, for if you are the normal empire, it's 2.5. And the Machine Empire and Hive Mind, they either use minerals or food. That means that the normal type of empires are really getting the bad end of the stick here. Because consumer goods are so much more expensive than minerals or food. Food. It's a tier two material. It's 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 kind of rough for them to see consumer goods being attached with them for uh, for normal empires. But still, uh, does it, it it pays off when it comes to the total unity income that you can get with it? And on top of that, stability just means that you have more uh, resource generation overall, which is absolutely amazing. But that's not all. You have another tier. It's the Pillar of Quietus, which adds four of these Depth Chroniclers, and then finally the Galactic Memorial, which has a total of six of them. And just to put this final one into perspective here, a, a maxed out building will generate 40 unity, or it, it generates 39, but 40 unity for a maxed out building, and the upkeep cost for that is a little bit of gas, which is interesting considering the monument building that it replaced uses crystal for the upgraded variants, and 
it's just absolutely insane. Sure, your gas economy is going to have some problems there because you're going to be using a lot of gas on your research buildings. But this particular Civic seems to be catered towards just diving into the tradition tree and just absolutely uh, just ripping through it. Now, there is a couple of caveats here that we need to take a look at. Now, for those of you who have played with Apocalypse as well as the joys of uh, Synthetic Dawn, you will know that there is a special bombardment stance, which is called Apocalyptic Bombardment, which is attached to uh, Fanatic Purifiers and the Determined Exterminators. These two cannot have this Civic. So basically what this means is, is you cannot use the special bombardment stance to turn worlds into tomb worlds to use this particular civic it'd be absolutely insane if you could do that on top of that imagine that you're a fanatic purifier and then it's like okay we just bombard this entire planet into a giant graveyard let's move on towards the next world because there's more xenos to perch but let's send a couple of our guys some of the more meeker fellows just to mull about the lives and think about them uh, about the lives of the people that used to live here so that we can learn something and add something to our culture it, it, it doesn't make sense for a narrative point of view and also it would be highly overpowered because you would just generate insane amounts of unity just by being a fanatic purifier or determined exterminator on top of that assimilators can't have them uh devouring swarm can't have them so basically anything that is really focused on destroying other empires cannot run this civic which makes sense you know you want to think about the dead you want to uh see what their lives were like but that kind of makes things rather curious because let's say that you've got distant stars right okay cool so you've got distant stars you are running with this civic and all of a sudden you find the special systems i believe there's three of them which are the ruined worlds and basically they are um, they are tomb worlds that are completely destroyed and they basically have giant mounts of, uh, of garbage on them. And basically, if you leave them alone for, say, 20 years or something along those lines, Kettlings will spawn, which is a psionic rat race, because of course they are. But still, if you, if you find those systems and you have this civic, screw everything else... We're going on an adventure and heading out there. And that is a very interesting perspective. It kind of synergizes with the ex uh, existing uh, expansion model, which is really, really cool, I feel. On top of that, um, there obviously it also sinks into the joys of Relic Worlds, but whether or not it actually means that you can still have these buildings once you turn a relic world back into an ecumenopolis is the question how will that transfer even work are the dead bodies still underneath the pavements of the entire planet maybe maybe they are there but still it's it's it, it just makes things really really interesting i'm really curious on how this is going to play out on top of that let's say that you are just a random species and you're up against a determined exterminator and you can easily destroy this determined exterminator no problem whatsoever do you let them bomb your worlds into submission turn them into tomb worlds maybe could be an option if you're playing multiplayer it could be even more insane on top of that there is the issue with the um religious pops religious pops usually don't like to live on tomb worlds However, if you start on a tomb world as a religious pop, you don't have that malice. So from what my from what my point of view is, the perfect build for using this particular setup would be a tomb world start. Having the tomb world uh, modifier, being able to live on them, as well as this particular civic. It seems really powerful and it does uh, have a bunch of interesting uh, potential playthrough mechanics in there but the real question is the real question do these buildings work in the same way as the monument does and that is can you build as many of them on that planet as you want because if that is the case oh boy imagine having an entire planet filled with the most insane unity production that you can imagine it's it's it blows my mind. It it seems to be too good to be true. Now obviously final numbers are in final, that's just how it works. But still, 
I'm sure that we're going to be seeing more stuff that ties into this in the very near future. The developers have uh, teased a origin in the past as well, so maybe this will tie into that, so we will see. But hey, a new expansion potentially on the horizon, or this could just be a free update, say for... I don't know, Christmas or something like that. Who knows what's going on there? Anyway, we're going to uh, wrap this one up here. If you have any feedback on this particular uh, Civic and you're just like, man, this could be really, really cool. I've uh, got a spreadsheet. Uh, we'll put a picture for it on screen so that you can just uh, take a look at it, just to run the numbers and see if you agree or not. But uh, yeah, uh, give me some feedback on this one because it seems so powerful if played right and the RNGs is rolls the dice in your favor anyway thank you so much for watching i want to thank my patrons for making this video possible and let's hope that more uh stuff will come up in future dev diaries for for solaris because it's been it's been a rut it's been a rut indeed anyway thank you so much for watching and until next time take good care of yourselves and as always memorialize the dead